Let's try, try and figure out wh where we're going from here. Let's bring in our halftime headliner, Jonathan Krinsky. He's the chief market technician at BTIG. Welcome back. I mean, you suggest as well that there's a lot of trouble brewing under the surface, right? Yeah, I think you guys have hit on a lot of it. But, um, you know, in a market that's pretty much range bound, and I think we can all agree that's what the S&P is after its plunge and recovery, you start to look at some of the relative trends of of the different sectors and really industry groups below the sector level. And that's where you see the deep cyclicals that typically are giving you that more risk on tone are starting to break down, particularly in relative terms. So we're talking about the banks, we're talking about the builders, uh, the home builders, we're talking about more recently, uh, some of the transports, you mentioned trucking. I think trucking is interesting be and, and the rails because those have been leadership stocks, not only within industrials, but within the market. And they had a bit of a volatility shock on Friday and, and are not really bouncing today. So those need to be monitored as well. And then to your point, the defensives, it's it's not just you know one or two little areas. It's, it's utilities, it's REITs, it's staples. You know, those are the areas showing good relative strength as this, as this market consolidates. Are you still thinking about the fact that that we could go back and retest those lows, if if not break through them, like you were saying all not that long ago, right? A couple weeks ago, that was your call, and then we had this powerful move, and then you thought, okay, well, you know, maybe we've maybe maybe we've moved beyond that. What do you think now? No, I, no, I think that's still in the cards. I mean, you, again, you talked about the mega cap tech names being defensive and that's that's driving a lot of the returns um and we're now into some pretty good pretty good areas of resistance in some of those mega cap fang names so you know it'll be interesting to see as we get into april as we start to get into some of the earnings reports again by our work it's it's not what the companies say it's what the stock does in reaction to what they say mm. and that'll be very telling um you know again given the runs that a lot of these mega cap names have had